A teenage driver who caused the death of a Yonkers police officer is sentenced to probation and community service. Now, the widow of Sergeant Frank Gualdino spoke in court this morning and then shared some thoughts in an exclusive interview with CBS 2's Tony Aiello. And this is the first time that he got to see us as a family, and we're a different family now because of him. The Gualdino family forever missing its rock and heart. Detective Sergeant Frank Gualdino killed 560 days ago when an unlicensed teenager slammed his speeding sports car into Gualdino's police cruiser. That teen on the left was sentenced as a juvenile under New York's Raise the Age Law. Two years probation with a 6 p.m. curfew and 480 hours of community service. I want him to have the punishment. Unfortunately, it's not punishment enough. It never could be. In court, Lisa Gualdino spoke of her family's pain, telling the teen, you can't possibly understand how shattered we are. You stole our lives from all of us. Then she urged the teen to make the most of this second chance. Live a life of meaning. In Frank's honor, make a contribution to society. Frank was living such a meaningful and purposeful life, so if he can find a way to do that, to do something of some meaning, of some importance, that would mean so much to me and my children. It was an act of grace that touched everyone in court. For her to be able to do that takes a strength that very few have, and uh, she has it, you know, and I don't know where she gets it from. The teenage driver spoke briefly in court, quote, I'm sorry, I wish this never happened, an apology Judge Wayne Humphrey found inadequate. He ordered the teen to write a letter of apology. The young man left court supported by his father, a privilege he took from Emily and Mark Gualdino. In Yonkers, Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News.